So let me talk about this Brigand Arms carbon fiber handguard. I believe it's still the lightest handguard on the market, certainly for this length. If not, it's very close. It's one of the lightest uh, handguards that you get can get on the market. Um, let's talk about the cons first, the things that I haven't liked about it. The first thing is this uh, the way that this gets locked onto the gun. You have this reversing nut that you have to crank down really hard. The first time I did it, um, I still use Loctite, but it still worked its way loose. You really got to crank it down hard, and when you do, the whole handguard will twist. As you can imagine, trying to twist it this way, it'll start to twist. And obviously you don't want that, because if I got these like canted sights here, if the front end is twisted one way or the other, my my sight picture will go one way or the other, and it's real frustrating uh, to get right. In fact, still, after all the work I did on it to try and line it up, I still have these rear sights that are quite a bit to the left, windage-wise, just to get them lined up. But I got them lined up really nice, same with the red dot. So that's the first thing, is it's just really hard to twist. You really need two vices, one to hold the forend and one to hold the receiver as you're... Um, as you're tightening it down. And I used a ton of Loctite uh, the second time around. And it's holding out really well now. The strength of it, um, I'm not gonna talk about that because that is a pro. Uh, but the other con that I noticed that I, I really don't like is I was holding out front here and um, after shooting, this wasn't while I was shooting, but I was just kind of feeling all along here. And I felt a little bit of pain in my thumb. I thought, what was that? It's because if you're pressed hard right here, you can get some of your skin to contact the top of the gas block there. And as you can imagine, after firing for a while, it gets really hot. So uh, I did not notice that at all when I was firing it. But yeah, something to be aware of. Those are really only the two cons of this. The strength of it, I've never questioned. It's always been rock solid. Um, the other thing, obviously the weight is another big reason that somebody's going to get this. The aesthetics are going to be huge. It's it's certainly a unique handguard, right? Uh, you don't see anything else like it on the market. Um, but to me, apart from the weight, the thing I like the most about this handguard is you pick it up in the extreme cold, you pick it up in the extreme heat, it feels exactly the same as when I'm picking it up right now in normal temperatures. And it's because that carbon fiber plus whatever um, you know adhesives or fillers or whatever they're using as a composite for this, it just doesn't transfer heat very well at all. Um, which is interesting. I thought carbon fiber was one of the, the best um, things to transfer heat out there. Um, but it, it's just really nice in that respect. You know, you, you grab onto aluminum. I mean, it's funny because even in just normal temperatures, again, I'm wearing just a t-shirt here. Even in normal temperatures, I grab onto that aluminum and it feels quite cold just in normal temperatures. And again, it's not a huge deal, but when you get an extreme cold or extreme heat, you really do notice that. And so having this whole grip, the rubber grip, and this for handguard, I could easily shoot this in extreme cold if, uh, if the air itself wasn't freezing my hands, certainly the gun wouldn't contribute to that freezing. So I really like it in that respect. Other than that, um, not much more to say about it. Again, the aesthetics are probably going to be one of the biggest reasons people are going to buy this because I think there are some handguards that are close in weight. Um, if it is still the lightest out there, it's pretty marginal. Um, and it is an expensive handguard, so people might go elsewhere, but certainly for the aesthetics, it's pretty sweet. So my, my, <laughs> my coworker thought it looked like trash, but I really like it. So um, that's what I have to say about the Brigand Arms handguard, carbon fiber. Until next time, guys, this is Derek reminding you, you're working too hard. See you next time.